Burdo. <laughs> JC Pow. Pow Pow Pow. Playing, playing Cubert's way. We are jumping into Cubert rebooted. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pumpkin Cubert. Yeah. So uh, I may have already started playing a little bit. I don't know. Uh, but let's start from the beginning. Uh, we're zombie. Cubert. We're zombie cute. Where? What? On the right side. Oh, that's that's my Steam icon. Oh, okay. it's, yeah, it's one of the ships because I love it so much. So we're zombie cuber, by the way. So we're gonna set some set some goals here and try to figure this out. So we started the conversation last episode about uh, our favorite console generation and era and what have you. Uh, the Super Nintendo, the PlayStation. Like getting back to PlayStation though. You had, did you have a PlayStation? Oh yes. A PS One and Two. PlayStation made itself a great niche. I mean, obviously, uh, RPGs. Yeah. It, oh. It, it has some good ones. But for me... Most of them are Super Nintendo ones, though. Yeah. When I think of PlayStation, though, I'm thinking just jump in, action, crazy games. Look at this tutorial. The ball's gonna bounce. Don't get in there. Don't. Thanks, Cuber. Don't get cross-eyed. You, you were saying action games? Yeah, like, when I think of one... I don't know if both... Oh, yeah, one. Heard of that. A lot of people know they haven't. Maybe give a little synopsis. So, Ooh, a jewel. Pretty much. Whoa. Look at that jewel. All right, so, spoiler alert. One, game starts. You wake up in this crazy motel room. Both dark and creepy. Lights are out. It's raining, I think. I don't know. Uh, and you have a gun for an arm and a giant jewel in your chest. You don't what know what's of going on. gun right. for an arm? Like it's a, like a laser gun looking like thing. So, play... Your arm's like... Robot on. So you're saying we need to play one on GC Pal? Yes. Because you just hear guys screaming like all Constantly. the time. Yeah. The more you shoot people, the more powerful you get. It's like a rage type of thing. That's weird. And uh, it's just crazy. It's crazy. And then there was nightmare creatures. You loved nightmare creatures uh, with the spiders. Oh god. The, you know the controls are really bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this remake's controls are terrible. <laughs> The original one controls better. Well, and you have an axe in your head. And the what thing, can you expect? <laughs> yeah, right. The thing about Cubert is the controls were never easy. Like, but this is just like I'm. I'm trying to move in the direction of the piece, and it's oh, that was harsh. That was harsh, bruh. Harsh, megarsh. Um, PlayStation One, right? Hmm. Hmm. Games like Chrono Cross. Final yeah. Fantasy 7. Yes, yeah. Final Fantasy 8. The mm. uh, Breath of Fire, their saga continued on the PlayStation 1. Uh, RPGs, you said it before, it, it really owned the RPG scene. And a lot of people were, I guess. Oh god, that's Coily! Okay, well. What? Get out of here, Curly. Coily! Stop getting it wrong! How hard is that? So. Oh, the discs are here too. That would make sense if Coil is around. But like the layout is really small. Uh, good RPG, good RPG games. A lot of a lot of the old SNES stuff came to the PlayStation. Anything that really wasn't first party uh, came to PS One. Yeah, action games, fighting games though, man. Tekken Two on the PlayStation One oh, yeah. was better than. I mean, Tekken Tekken was good too. I'm not gonna. The original, you know, Soul Calibur. Uh, Soul, what is it? Soul Edge was the first one on. Uh, doing great! Doing. I was wondering what you're doing, I man. have no. I'm, you know, I'm so engrossed in this conversation about the PlayStation that I'm really not paying attention at all. The Cubert reboot, though? Not great. Not super fun. Well, you got an axe in your head. I'd rather watch you play the original one than fail myself. Get jewels though. It's not the jewel blitz, bro. Oh god, two coilies! What? Move, Cubert! Move! He's paralyzed in fear! This game just stepped this game up. Ah! I can't get him to freaking move! I'd like to see this game with motion control. <laughs> On the Wii or Connect, where you have to actually like hop around. That'd be funny. Alright. Great, didn't get uh, target score. We're doing, we're doing swell, gang. We're doing. We got some brains. We're doing accident. Would you stop with the accident? You know what? You won't stop talking about the accident. I need to Is select. It? You can change. I think so. Hold on. If you could be a pumpkin, I'm all for that. There's a mouse. Here we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, pumpkin a lot. Need a hundred jewels? We have a hundred jewels. Great. Halloween. Yeah, actually. It is super Halloween. So now we're the jack-o'-lantern? 
Yes. Yes, we are. Got them fiery eyes. Uh, were we on? Yeah, we'll cut on. Whoops. A and B. Uh, when you go from, uh, like, a Nintendo to an Xbox controller, A and B are reverse. Okay. Well, let's go disco. Well, I've mentioned it before. This Super Nintendo controller really the best. revolutionized things. And I find it quite interesting. Nintendo never really went back to that as a main controller. Every other system has their design based on that. Very good point. So it's, it's definitely recognized as being the controller that changed everything. And the reason Nintendo gets props from me is they're always trying new stuff. Uh, so they yeah. Come back to that. Yeah, absolutely. Controller. Well, I mean, have you heard the whole thing about Nintendo with uh, the money? Like, what the company makes and, and has? They have enough money to not turn a profit for the next, I don't know, 20 years or something? Uh, and not go bankrupt to really see any major loss. Which is impressive when you think about the amount of money that that would be. But at the same time, it gives them the security to innovate. Uh, Alright, you went from the Nintendo, which was, uh, you know, a risk to begin with because the home console market was, was doomed uh, after the, the console crash. You, you go from that to the Super Nintendo, which is more of the same. The Nintendo is the most successful console of all time. Let's make a sequel be better. And then... Ooh, the, the balls and stuff don't disappear when you're on the float. Uh, and then you go, let's do some something different, and let's try the N64. 3D is the way to go. 3D design and all this other other jazz. You get the C the C buttons and the control stick. Three grips that you can't even hold. Three hands. Yeah. yeah. Really weird. To be perfectly honest. Uh, and then you go GameCube. That was quick. That was weird. I don't even know. I wasn't even paying attention, honestly. Great. Let's move on to the next yeah, stage. Yeah. Mm. Great stage music. Awesome everything. <laughs> We're mad at Cubert rebooted. At this point, the conversation is better than the game we're playing. Which does happen from time to time. Uh, so then they jump to the GameCube. Now, GameCube, in a sense, is like, okay, more of the same. We're still focusing on 3D worlds that we've created. We are still producing characters that people know. And maybe the hardware wasn't as well. Wow, Snake's poorly did there. not die. And that was close. That was close. Um, maybe we're not taking as much of a risk with the controllers. They were software-wise. Oh, totally. Mario Sunshine, probably the most, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, debated over game? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it one of the best? Is it one of the worst? I never played it. Well, uh, I don't know if I'm willing to sit through that game. Uh, I do not love it. Uh, that is the best I can say about that game. I do not love it. I don't think it's terrible. It's Mario 64 with weird mechanics. Like and flying control. Mario 64 being... One of the best. So good. We'll get to that at some point. I think so I think good. it would do both of us good to play that game mm -hmm. again. It'd do my soul good. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Um, but yeah, Luigi's Mansion, a different Mario take. What's like completely different for the Mario franchise. And this is about to get dirty. Um, but again, you know, breaking the mold a little bit. Not what you expect from the company. Uh, Donkey Kong 64 was awesome they did not do a, a follow-up uh true follow-up to the gamecube either they did donkey konga for the gamecube where it was rhythm based rock band style and then they followed that up with jungle beat which was platforming in action using the bongos ridiculous ludicrous ludicrous then what happens though then the wii comes out the wii completely changes the game it made Whoa. motion gaming yeah. acceptable. What about the PlayStation Move? That came out after the Wii. Yeah, what, like two years? Uh, no, it yeah, was, it was huh? probably more. It was after the Kinect, I think, is why the Move came out. Yeah. Um, but that, but yeah, look at that. A, a game company, Nintendo, taking a huge risk on motion gaming, which made it a household name. People played the Wii that never played any Nintendo product Whoa. or... I know, I thought I ate it. That never played any Nintendo product or console before. Jerkin's uh, Yay! Suicide! Yeah, that's the basic game. It was so fun, the Wii Sports and everything. Packaged in, we played it during the marathon. I think you, you weren't there for that. But we played... We went through everything but golf, because golf <laughs> is boring. Plain and simple. Um, yeah, too bad honestly. Too bad they didn't have curling on there. Yeah, curling would make sense with a, anything makes sense with a Wii controller. Ugh. And that's why the Wii U still uses the Wii controller 
for every game. There is, n like, barely any game that's not in some way compatible with the Wii controller. Whether it's for motion or for the, like, NES-style gameplay, I think. Uh, so, well, the Wiimote harkens back to the original Nintendo controller. Which is amazing. D-pad. Or then, of course, the nunchuck. Yeah, or, or hook up a classic controller to it. Yeah, no, they definitely expanded on that as well. Um, and what system has so many control options? That's a really good point, too. What do what system does have that many controller options? How many can you use now? Seven? On the on a Wii? Yeah, on, on a Wii U? All things considered. You've got the gamepad, you've got the, the Wiimote, you can do the Wiimote oh, nunchuck. We, we didn't even get into the tablet yet, but yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. The Wiimote nunchuck. You can do the Wiimote with the classic controller. You can do a pro controller. You can do the classic pro controller. And that might be everything a we can do. Well, with Smash Bros, we've got the 3DS now. Oh yeah, you can hook the 3DS up to the system. We didn't even talk about the DS and its innovation. I, you know, I would say let's continue this series, but th this got easy and boring. And I am literally on autopilot in playing this game. I just realized every level, you start insane. with five lives. What? Did you not... There are hearts in this one. They're not little little Q men. Hearts. Five hearts. Different stage. Different stage. Ooh, traps too on the on the. What? Like you can get kind of pinned in down here. Yes, yeah. And com and commit to to. Oh. Wait, you Captain Falcon on here? Oh, all right, that's uh, that's a is, personal jab. Where is the Captain Falcon version of that? That's Hubert? the personal jab. Hubert is not going to be in Smash, and he's not a Nintendo character. Oh, I was going to go there. He doesn't have arms. Eventually. He's not Birdo. He's not gonna spit eggs out of his snout. You hear it here first. Cubert confirmed. Smash. <laughs> uh, on that note, we are over time. This has been GC Pow. 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 I really don't want to. Okay. I really don't want to play. All right. I really don't think. Okay. Well, maybe one more. One more there try. Maybe just one more Cuberting. Get them gems. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing it. You're doing it, Peter. You're doing it. Oh, you little green terror. Yeah, you fell into the mall. All right, well. <laughs> GC Pow. Pow, pow, pow. Playing our way. Cubert style.